Tomorrow night, we will hear President Trump's very first State of the Union speech, and he's expected to address hot topics like DACA and a border wall. But tonight, one South Texas dreamer is stepping out of the shadows. She says she's speaking for many and demanding answers from the commander in chief. Texas border correspondent Oscar Margain has her story. She's an activist by day. Driving here. Uh, since the age of 14. And an undocumented immigrant fighting for a chance to stay 24-7. So really the DREAM Act will be the way for me to be able to legalize my status in this country. Tania Chavez, who works for the nonprofit La Unión del Pueblo Entero, or Lupe for short, isn't afraid to come out from the shadows to speak her mind. I'm very fortunate that my community is with me and stands with me and protects me. However, these days she treads carefully. She fears any minor misstep can lead to her deportation. Why the border wall is not good for our community? Especially when making public denouncements about the border wall. Again, the border wall. Just last Saturday, she spoke at a rally outside the Santa Ana Wildlife Refuge in Alamo, Texas, a site being considered for Trump's wall. Chavez pleaded not to use undocumented immigrants as pawns and for the president and Congress to come to a sensible agreement. We are not opposed to having additional surveillance at the border. If we want to invest in a virtual wall, by all means, but what we don't want is a physical wall that will break up our families, a physical wall that will harm people. The President of the United States. With President Trump preparing to address the nation Tuesday, she would like for him to make good on his promise of dealing the issue with love. A speech is not going to give us any hope while year round we get slapped um, as a community. The best deal, she says, is a path to citizenship without the $25 billion price tag for a border wall. In far near the Texas-Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain reporting.